Investigator Harvey Pratt has been with the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation for about 40 years in a multitude of capacities from agent to interim director. But he's best known for being a pioneer in forensic artistry. My passion is the forensic art. And, uh, and I got involved in that years ago just as a flute because I knew that I, that I was drawing and painting. Indeed, Pratt is an accomplished, award-winning artist, and even the halls at OSBI are adorned with his custom murals that tell the story of the department. They were killing one time, and they had a witness, a victim, as they thought was going to pass. And I wondered if I could go over there and, and I'd make a drawing at her description. And no one told me I couldn't, and, that I, and I had no special skills, but I went over and did a drawing, and we were able to make an arrest. And I'm going to guess, if I, didn't, if I hadn't have made that kind of a... Uh, success the very first time, I've probably never done it. Probably never done another drawing. But in the meantime, I've done probably 4,500 drawings. He refers to these police sketches as witness description drawings. I started off doing those, and then I, then I evolved into a couple other things. And then I started doing skull reconstructions, and then I started doing uh, skull tracings, and then I started doing soft tissue reconstructions which was a technique that I developed for law enforcement. It was not being done at that time. That's the same photograph. There is a sense of pride, you know, that, that my gosh, I, I, I helped develop this. And we're, we're identifying thousands of people that were not identified before. It changed, it changed our whole process of how we photograph unidentified human beings. You know, it's great when you, when you identify somebody, you identify a, a, a unknown human remains or or you recover a, a child that has been abducted or something. I, you, there's no way you can put uh, a level on that of, of satisfaction, you know. And, and uh, people say, ask me a lot of times, what's your, what's your best case? And I said, you know what, they're all good. As far as I'm concerned, they're all good. Pratt is also a Cheyenne Arapaho tribal peace chief. He said these duties can be likened to that of a pastor. Though approached by elders in 1996, Pratt said there were early signs. I was a veil baby. I had a membrane from my head down, and they had to cut it away. And those old Indian women uh, said, uh, oh, look at him. He wants to be a chief. So they named me that. He's going to be a chief. The Cheyenne's chiefs choose chiefs. They're chosen by other chiefs. They look at people, and, they, and the term is they're watching you. They watch you. They watch people. They say who they are, what kind of person they are. Education opens a lot of doors for you. Education does that for you. But real success comes from in here.